Amen. Please be seated for a moment. Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for us to pray. And we're going to pray for our dear state. And after that, we will pray for our nation. The prayer for our dear state, Lagos, will be taken by the chairman of Christian Association of Nigeria, Lagos State Branch. The chairman of Christian Association of Nigeria, Lagos State Branch, is coming to take the prayer for our nation and the pray for our state and the prayer for our nation shall be taken by the chaplain of the Asso Rock Chapel. The chaplain of Asso Rock Chapel. We begin with our state as we pray. Please let's rise on our feet. Shall we pray? Please rise up to pray. This day, the scriptures are fulfilled in the name of Jesus Christ. Shall we lift up our hands unto the Lord and give, begin to give thanks to God for this state of Lagos? Let's lift up our hands unto the Lord and just give thanks unto God. The Lord who has sustained this state since its creation in 1967. And let us give thanks to God. He has sustained this state. He has prospered this state. He has kept evil away out of the state of Lagos. Let's give thanks to God this morning. Let's give thanks to God for all the years that the Lord God Jehovah has been with us in this state of Lagos. Let's thank God for the church of Jesus Christ in Lagos state. Let's thank the Lord for all our fathers and mothers, the leadership of the church in Lagos State, as we pray for Lagos State. Thank you, our Father in heaven. Glory be to your holy name forever. Now, let us begin to thank God for the government of Lagos State. The successive government of Lagos State since 1967 has been a blessing to this state of Lagos. Let's thank God for those who have ruled Lagos State and gone. Those who have played their parts in the state of Lagos. Those the Lord have used to make this state the way it is an envy to all states in Nigeria, an envy to Africa. Let's thank the Lord since the days of General Brigadier General Johnson, all through those who have ruled. Let's thank the Lord for their lives. Let's thank God for the grace upon this great man. We thank you, our Father in heaven. Now, let us specifically thank God for the current governor of Lagos State, His Excellency Governor Akiwumi Ambodi who the Lord chose to rule this state over the last three years. Let's thank God for keeping him, keeping his family, keeping the state at peace. And let's thank the Lord for the progress he has brought on to Lagos by the grace of God. And let us thank God for his family. Let's thank God for his life. And let us thank God for his tomorrow. Because his tomorrow is in the hands of God. Let us thank the Lord for their children. Let's thank the Lord for all the executive, those who have been working with him, his commissioners, the permanent secretaries and the senior staff of Lagos State, the judiciary, the House of Assembly. Let's thank God for peace in Lagos. Thank you so much, our Father and our God. We bless you, Jehovah. And finally, I want us to thank the Lord for the peace in Lagos. We see where there is no peace, there can be no progress. 
there can be any nothing good at all but god has kept lagos state in peace let's thank god for the peace in lagos and let's ask him that the peace will continue to reign in this state of lagos albeit nigeria but we are praying for the state anytime the evil one has raised his head god has raised his standard against him and destroyed him when we cry unto god as the church of god in lagos the lord has answered us let's thank god for the peace in lagos let's thank god for tomorrow because our tomorrow in this day shall be great in the name of the lord jesus christ and thank you our father in heaven glory be to your holy name our father in heaven thank you for this day we're thanking you for keeping this nation for the 58 years and so we're celebrating your grace today in this holy temple lord but specifically we're praying for lagos state a prayer of thanksgiving for all that you have done over these years we're praying a prayer of thanksgiving for keeping lagos at peace we're thanking you, O oh God, for the progress that Lagos State has made, that has made Lagos to be recorded in the list of nation, the nation, nations developing across the world. Father, it is you alone who could have blessed Lagos like this. Thank you, our Father in heaven. Now, O oh God of heaven, we're thanking you for the current leadership as we thank you for all the leadership of Lagos State before now. Father, thank you for upholding the leadership. And thank you for keeping us at peace in Lagos. Thank you for doing wonderful things in our state. Lord, whatsoever you do is good and it is perfect. But we believe, oh God, that you are taking us somewhere as a state. And where you are taking us is a place of glory. Lord, we thank you because we know it is well with us in Lagos State. It is well with the church in Lagos State. No evil will come to Lagos State in the name of Jesus. The assassins and the wicked ones, the northern army will never be able to invade Lagos State in the name of Jesus. And Lord, you have formed a hedge around Lagos State that will remain impenetrable to the enemy in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We will celebrate you from everlasting to everlasting. You've made Lagos the capital of the gospel in our nation, the capital of gospel in Africa, the capital of the gospel in the world. Now, O oh Lord, release your power upon Lagos. Release your anointing upon Lagos. Release abundance of prosperity upon Lagos. Thank you for healing and thank you for restoration. Thank you for a great tomorrow. We thank you, our Father in heaven, for we have prayed in Jesus' name.